Hello everyone, Strength Coach Tina here with part two of the Hip Mobility Self-Assessment video series. If you're here, it's because you hopefully did part one and you did the straight leg raise and you got a one out of two on the active straight leg raise that went to a two out of two with the passive and you therefore likely have one of two things going on. Your, uh, your hip flexors are really tight and this is what we're going to assess next or you have and or you have anterior core uh, strength issues, okay? And those can be, the, those are often coexisting conditions. In this video though, we're gonna focus on hip flexor self-assessment. Um, in the gym, I do this very differently. Uh, I had to come up with something creative for at home. Um, you're gonna set up on a table, hopefully something you're very secure, sitting on, lying on, it's very sturdy. Uh, clean it off. You can put a, a mat down and what you're going to do is roll down, but you want to be close enough to the edge so that you can drop a leg down. Okay. When you do that, your back will arch. Okay. Um, but you want to clear the edge of the table with your knee. Then I'm assessing my right leg now. It's the leg that's down and I'm going to lift my left knee into my chest and pull it in as far as it can go. And I'm watching what happens with that right leg and not much is going on. Okay. Now, if what's going on is as I draw this in, whoop, I'm feeling that that leg is lifting away from the table. Then I do have some tension in that right hip flexor. You're going to swat, switch it out. Okay. So I want you to bring that foot down. Okay. The right leg is going to come to rest on the table, the foot on the table. The left leg is now dangling over the edge. Knee clears the edge of the table and you're gonna slowly raise that knee in and towards your chest. As you do that, what happens to the lower leg? Does it start to rise away at all? You might be able to feel that, but for those of you who are tr having trouble feeling that, you might have to have eyes in a video, in, by way of a video camera. So if you do notice that your opposite or down leg lifts when you do these uh, knee in movements, um, you do have some tension to deal with here, okay? And that is, you're, I'm gonna direct you to a video um, that, to help release tight hip flexors, but chances are you also have very weak gluteal muscles. So you're gonna look for a video that, in which I help you deal with tight hip flexors, weak glutes, okay? Uh, the other thing that can be happening for those of you who um, feel that it probably is related to core control, you're gonna wanna reference my dead bug video. That's an excellent starting point uh, or exercise to help you regain core control. Um, all of this is part of my Core Restore program, by the way. It was developed years ago, uh, administered online initially, but it's coming live in the spring of 2024. So if you like what you're seeing and this is something of interest to you, you want to do uh, self-assessments of your shoulders and your breathing pattern and your hips, your ankles, all of this is part of that program. And I encourage you to like, follow, share, and stay tuned.